Okay, y'all, it's Thursday, two days before the uh, vintage flea market. It's five o'clock. I have about an hour to get ready and leave for an event I'm going to meet Robbie up in Atlanta at. So I'm going to clean up this mess in my studio right now, just get it more organized. So when we get back tonight, we can kind of like stay up later because he's taking work off tomorrow and just figure out what we're taking and start like pricing items and just making a pile of everything we want to pack up because he's going to go and switch his car out with his parents van because they let us borrow it whenever we do flea markets so we can like not have to scrunch everything in here so i'll update you again when i start pulling stuff but well, before i get started on cleaning i wanted to show you a haul of what i got at the flea market today and my outfit so i got this cute little vintage picture for my bathroom it was 12 dollars I got two jewelry pieces for myself to try out. I got this do uh, $6 bracelet. It's cool, like checkerboard chrome situation. It has like this silver buckling. Super cool. I'm probably gonna wear this tonight along with this sterling silver heart pendant I found. This was more pricey. This was 30 bucks, but I've been looking for this and I just, said whatever i needed it i went to the flea market originally today to find a cowboy style hat because i wanted to wear it for halloween and just be kind of like a good coyote ugly style girl not really dress up but like you know be that type of vibe and i wanted to wear it to like the flea market i'm doing this weekend but they had none i knew i should have bought the black one last time i was there but that's what i got today and then i want to show you my outfit I have this little white bow that I got on sale for like a dollar, like a whole roll of it at Michael's around my neck. And my hair has been just curled a couple days now. It's super dirty. I'm gonna wear it again like this tonight. So I'm gonna change out of this, but this tee is so cool. It's like a vintage 70s little Japanese graphic t-shirt. It's like a towel, terry cloth material with white contrast stitching. I've never really styled it out and worn it. So yeah, I just got an urge to style it today. I don't know why, but looked at it and said, yeah, that's going on today. I love the graphic. And then I have this drawstring maxi skirt and then it has the slit in the back, super comfortable and easy to walk in. I think it's old Navy. It's got pockets on it and then the cargo pockets. And then I thrifted this back in the springtime, I'm pretty sure, or last fall. I think it was more like springtime, early spring. Thrifted this star sweater. Okay, so we've got these two bins that we've had stored away since summertime that we're gonna be bringing out and putting on the racks. I don't really know what's in it, but I know he said it's a lot of good crew necks and hoodies and stuff. And then I have some like long sleeves and velour material like and other like uh, lightweight to heavy jackets I can bring out. There's another bin up there I need to go through. And yeah, I'll start showing you some stuff that I'll be taking. I think I'm taking a good pile of this stuff. And then here's some hats. I'll be taking of my personal set I just need to get rid of that I never wear. And then I'll be taking this long leather trench coat. And then I'm gonna be taking all of these purses and hats, all my personal stuff off this uh, little uh, purse hat tree thing and taking it with me so we can put purses and scarves and hats on this easily. And our tag gun broke last time we used it so I ordered from Amazon and got that and some clothes bags I'll show y'all so I got the two pack on Amazon it was like 16 bucks just in case like one gets lost or one breaks or we need a tag at the same time it'll be great and then it came with a thousand of the little plastic fasteners so that was so awesome I ordered this yesterday I was able to get it today and then I got these like clothing bags that are pretty thick or like garment bag garment bags that I can put a lot of my slip dresses and dresses and like nicer items in that I just don't want dragging on the ground that are gonna get, that sometimes get dirty. 
So I got some of those. If I end up liking them and needing more, I'm gonna get a few more, but I think six of these will do for now for like the dresses and longer items I have. So here's what the garment bag looks like when I unzip it. And then these are the ones that are like six inches on the sides here. So I can pack a lot of good stuff in here. So I got six of those. Okay, so now we're about to take the tag gun and tag all of these t-shirts. The realization that I don't need any more personal bags for myself because I have a few more than that. And I even got rid of some that I'm taking to the market. So yeah, anyway, I'm bringing this little accessory tree with me to put hats and bags on to sell. I'm gonna be bringing some of the slip dress items that I found from my grandmother's closet. This one is like a two piece set actually, gorgeous. And it still has the tags on it. And underneath this is like a little slip dress moment. Let's see if I can see it, yeah. Underneath there, this gorgeous like purple Lilac light color with the cream lace at the top. This gorgeous like linen material with a drawstring at the top, very like 70s, 60s vibes. Another light purple one with the gorgeous lace cut out in the middle. So sad these are all too small for me or I'd be keeping them. I probably am gonna bring a few things that I have listed on Depop just because, um, but I'm not gonna bring much of the Depop stuff because I wanna just get stuff gone that I don't have listed already so I can make room for more stuff. And then once the stuff sells, you know, on Depop still have stuff. But I do have some bottoms I don't have listed on Depop that I need to bring. I'll probably leave the ones that I do have on Depop there. And then some more like sweaters and stuff I need to look through. And just, I need to be pretty picky on what I'm bringing just so I don't overfill myself and overwhelm myself with too much shit. So this is how the little bag and hat rack is looking robbie still has to add some of his hats and stuff on top but this is looking perfect and hopefully i come home with zero of this and then i also wanted to highlight two more items that i'm going to be taking this what is this mac girl no kick girl from the early 2000s like cargo drawstring maxi dress with pockets and it goes all the way down to the floor with these really cool gray zippers on the side. Goes about like half calf or like up to the knee. And then yeah, it has these pockets. It's like a little mock neck moment. And then I recently found this No Boundaries 2000s jumpsuit, like 2000s does 70s denim jumpsuit with a belt and all these pockets and it didn't go over my hips unfortunately i tried very hard such a good piece okay we're running a little bit late so i'm gonna give you a quick outfit check i got my hair half up half down kind of curled messy and then i have this thrifted like little mesh wool top that has like a mock neck that's mesh. It's made in like Paris, I think. I have this little chrome big pendant, my cargo pants, cause I wanted to be comfortable. I had a whole skirt outfit picked out, but I'm just not feeling it today. I just want to be comfortable. And then my platform Crocs.
That thing's rad. I love right? this. Oh my god, turn it around real quick. I love the little subtle printing on the back of it. Ooh, and the skull. That's like a floor. It's a good haul. It's, it's a real day. good haul. It's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Not behind the dumpster. What it's for I foretold the future be a fucking eyesore Forefathers bothered but forgetful that they used to be foreign Couldn't afford all of them taxes Went and made a declaration for them Became the monsters that this war would be forbidden Forgetting that men were free I guess they still bullshitting that Forty days in deserts, twelve years in the forest Jaya Sita, Ram, Hanuman, we all sing the chorus Forging for poems for my birthright Forthright, forthcoming album is foreplay And foresight, four letter words for her on the first day One fortnight Later and she hit me up to fornicate Formulate the method from the train and use the forks For two it is occasion resonate like tuna forks But fortunes valley upon further forensics I couldn't fuck with her cause her ego was tremendous I don't wanna sleep anymore I don't wanna dream anymore I can cry, I can breathe, I can bleed Just like, just like a machine Really, really, these robots are so silly Unforgivable forever and I'm so filthy Couldn't help it, LA made me like the farm I was raised by machines, I just adopted the decorum So who is just, just a cog? Animal or angel, devil or a god They adjust the fog with chemtrail plots Cozy clothes and struggle not to nod And now my memories jog by the flaws and drugs Innocence persecuted, who you trying to flog? Then they got wasteland, what machine do we do? What machine do we do? These men machines lack vision and love Then machines draw fire and blood There's a few summary, more summary type items on the racks that I kind of need to just put away for next uh, summer and spring season. So I'll have more room to store more jackets and stuff. And then this is the stuff that sold over the last few days that I haven't been able to ship out yet. This Juicy Couture t-shirt that I thrifted not too long ago. And then I found these Lee Pipes, like Y2K high-waisted shorts. This amazing brown denim, like cargo pocket and zipper maxi skirt. 
It's really cool camo maxi skirt. It's like a super lightweight denim material with like raw hem on the bottom. And then I think the pockets are like cargo pockets on the back. Yeah. Super cool maxi skirt. This little mid 2000s t-shirt. Very mall core vibes. This one is actually, I think Stevo's brand from the mid 2000s. And this My Chemical Romance, like it's definitely like mid 2000s. Well, it's a couple of days after the pop-up and let me just say, I did way better than I expected us to do. After the $110 like vendor's fee, we made about a thousand ish dollars. And after buying a few t-shirts, which I'll show off too. But I wanted to talk about the just overall experience. It's not my first pop-up whatsoever. I've done, I don't even know how many, but it's been my first one in about a year now, I think. And I'm doing another one next weekend, actually, the day before Halloween. I'll pop up the flyer because I just saw that they made them today. And I'm going to try to get this video out a few days beforehand to warn people, just like I did last time. So I tried to vlog as much as I could, but it got so busy fast. Like, I was always doing something, it seemed like. And I was trying to just, like, hang out and, like, mingle with the vendors that were there as well as customers and talk to them about, like, stuff I do as well and hand out like business cards and stuff. The food truck there was open from 10 to two and they had like breakfast burritos and overnight oat type deal, which I got, which was absolutely amazing. And uh, they had coffee and like other drinks that you could get as well. And there was like tables and chairs and stuff you could hang out at and eat. And uh, you could also just like roam around the vintage market. And yeah, there was people asking from their cars at the red light, like what was going on, if they couldn't see the signs or whatever. And yeah, so it was a pretty successful event. And my friend Grace and I, that I showed off her booth, uh, yeah, we were there like two or three-ish hours after it was supposed to end. So yeah, like five o'clock, we like started wrapping up and leaving um, because we couldn't get people to leave our booths, which is not a bad thing. I wasn't gonna kick them out because I was making a ton of money, you know what I mean? And people were loving our stuff. So they just, the people that were running, the, the my friends that were running the pop-up said, as long as you make sure the par parking lot is like cleaned up and everything, you can stay here as long as you need to. So Grace and I stayed until about five-ish, 5.30, I think. And yeah, we both did very well. And other vendors did too, but um, it just out of nowhere, we were on the, me and Grace were like on the corner, which was like near a dumpster, which doesn't seem like it would be good foot traffic. But from like the sidewalk, I guess people were like coming in from that angle a lot more than like the other side. So they kept saying like our booths first. So yeah, it was very successful. And I recommend doing vintage markets to anyone who does any reselling art, any type of craft or artsy thing, or just like, you know, doing what I do as well. Um, it's always a good time, regardless if I make good, good money or not. Um, I will say it's not always I make $1,000 at these things. I've been to other ones where I make less than that, but usually they're very profitable. And what's good about that is I don't have to pay a deep pop, deep pop fee. I don't have to ship it out. I don't have to worry about like waiting for someone to buy it. You know, I got rid of a good bulk of stuff that I didn't even have listed. Some stuff I had listed, it was like a couple of things that I took, but most stuff I have, I just didn't have listed yet. And it was just like back stock from last season that I had from fall and I had saved for this season. So that was really good. So for this pop-up, I'm gonna try to bring more accessories. I did yeah, bring like the purses and the scarves. I didn't sell many of those. I sold like a hat, like a beanie hat and a purse, I think. I might've sold a couple of, purses. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look, but I'm bringing more and I'm going to try to bring shoes to the next one. And just, I have a lot more that isn't like a repetitive of last time. Like I'm still bringing the stuff from last time that didn't sell, but plus like two more racks full and there will be more $5 bins. So Robbie wandered off and was looking at everybody's booth because I knew I wouldn't have time. So I was like, if you want to, like whenever we get like a slower down pace where I don't need as much help go and look at like other people's booths and hang out with them and stuff and talk to them so 
Um, the first t-shirt he got for us is this 2006 Ozfest front and back tour t-shirt. Such a cool graphic on the front. And then just pause if you need to, to look at all the bands because I don't really feel like reading them out because there's a lot, but they're all bangers. And then he got this one at the same booth and it's a medium on an anvil tag. And let me see when it's from, I think it's like 2000. Oh yeah, that's, I think this one doesn't have a timestamp, but it's early 2000s because that's what this tag is. This Blink-182 and you can tell it's like a 2000s print. That's the front graphic classic and then the back says Blink-182 on it. Amazing. After a couple of hours, I changed out of that cute little mesh and wool combination turtleneck after he bought this and put this on because it started getting pretty hot. And yeah, if it's amazing, just like how I want my little baby tees to fit. And then from one of our friends that was actually running the pop-up, he's part of Centerfold, actually sold Robbie this for $6. I don't know why he was selling it so cheap, but it's a good boxy fit slayer t-shirt. I want to wear this over like a maxi skirt or dress for a super cool like baggy fit. And then this was from our other friend. Such a cool graphic. I think it's early 2000s. I'm not sure though. Such a cool graphic though. Here is the tag. So again, I hope to see any of my Atlanta locals there. Um, it's right off the belt line near Crog Street Market kind of. So if you know that area, you'll know kind of where it's at. You'll hear the music and see the sign. I think it'll be like down on the belt line. They'll have a sign. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking about doing like a whole like fall vlog type thing where I add the next market I'm doing plus like just fall activities that me and Robbie do together. So let me know down in the comments if that sounds like a cool little vlog you'd want to watch. And I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next one.